What is up you guys, Giga here, back with another video, and today we are working on uh, the parts Yamaha Blaster, and as you guys saw last time that I was showing you, um, pretty much one of the spindles is bent, which I did not notice until we actually put wheels on it, then you can definitely tell. Um, I actually put on uh, the wheel back on, because last video I didn't have it on when I was trying to explain to you guys, but um, I put it back on so you guys can see the difference, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to change um, a spindle. I did end up getting a used one on eBay. I found one for $22, you guys, $22, and it comes with like the drums and everything. I'll show you guys, but first I'm going to show you guys um, what it looks like when it's pretty much not, not good condition. It's bent. I don't know if they were doing wheelies on this thing and then bam or hit something. I don't know, but I'm going to show you guys real quick. Right now, you guys can see the, and it doesn't look that good on the camera, but right now, I don't know if you guys can see, pretty much the handlebars are straight. Check this wheel out. It's kind of at a, instead of being straight, it's kind of at like an angle like this, and then it's pushed in at the very top. If you guys can't tell by that, let's take a look on this side, and you could actually see right here. There's no clearance. Let's see. There's no clearance whatsoever. This wheel does it. It doesn't really roll because it's hitting on there. So it's basically rubbing on this. Um, so let's check out this side as a comparison. The light hits this a little bit better, but you can clearly see if I put three fingers right here, they fit before hitting the rim, right? check this out this one only has one and basically it's right at the edge of the rim so see how see I could put my finger in here my whole hand kind of fits in there no problem right and I thought like this was bent because it looked kind of funky too but if you could see right here this is a lot more open and this is just really screwed up you could see that right it looks pretty jacked up it almost looks like this part of the spindle is already hitting this I took this off when I was looking at it but it's it's hitting the spring right here pretty much and if you take a look on this side I mean it's hitting it too but there's way more um, open space on this side so we're gonna go ahead so we're going to go ahead and take this wheel off and I'm going to show you guys what everything looks off. But I mean once they're really tight. Oh yeah see. It's, it's, it's stiff. And then look at this one. See. Huge difference. It's flat but still. Um, yeah but that's how I'm showing you guys how it looks. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy off and start working on it. Really weird stance. But yeah so I mean you can't tell anything on here but yeah I took off this already for the brakes um, pretty much the whole thing is going to be new so I'm going to have to take off these uh, pins and then um, these uh, nuts and we should be good to go it's only two three and then the brake cable should slide out Gotta hold the back side. Oh, and it does have a pin on it too. So, 
And uh, sorry if I'm not using proper terms here, but basically I'm just saying a pin, but it's a cotter pin. Um, so it has one on the bottom, and obviously one on the top on the back side here. I'll probably put some new ones on. There we go. Cotter pin is out. I'm not sure if the new one I got comes with these two, but we will definitely save them. Add them to the parts list here. Then you have two, they're all 14 millimeters also. Uh, you have two right here on the back side. And uh, they're for the spindle, or sorry, they're not for the spindle. They're for the um, the tie rod, pretty much. And they actually did have uh, cutter pins as well. I just kind of went through them. And they're crappy anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. Everything on this corner is junk. Um, the bottom one on the lower ball joint looks to be like maybe a 16, 17. But let's just use this presser wrench. And just like that. And you might need to give it a couple of wax to get out. Um, also, don't forget your uh, brakes too. Um, it has this little washer looking thing. It's kind of like a C-clip. That needs to come out in order for you to get out the spring. So this is what the C-clip looks like. And then um, you can pull out the spring. And then before that, it just has... Pretty much um, this. And then this little... Uh, I forgot what these are called. But it has uh, this going on like this to hold the spring. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then uh, this goes like this. So here, I thought this just comes out, but it does not. Uh, it actually has another clip that you need to pull out. And it looks like this. Oh, Jesus. No, I ran away. <laughs> oh no, you guys, I lost it. And I lost it, you guys. That's crazy. Oh, oh, thank God, I found it, you guys. I found it.
And so it looks like that. Pretty much it holds this, this part in, and now it'll allow you to push it through, hopefully. And then uh, you can just slide it out through the wire right here. And then pretty much you have it all the way off already. Uh, it's just this lower ball joint. Yeah, it just spins with it. Okay, I'm gonna just let that sit for a little while while I go through the new one right here new used um, so pretty much it comes with everything I don't even think I need to do like a, a whole swap but I mean the bearing doesn't sound that great but as you can see this one doesn't look that messed up on this side that one's dented in a lot so um, this should work even if I just take off the spindle and reuse everything else. Oh, it comes with this too, actually. I didn't notice that. But I probably don't I'm probably just gonna take this one off and uh use the old one with the bracket. Um because I don't wanna have to take off that tie rod and mess that up as well. So I'm probably gonna just take the, all this off and then just get it ready for putting on my drum that's on there, because the drum feels fine. And this one doesn't sound good, watch. Uh, I don't know. Might be okay. Yeah, no, mine sounds a lot better. I don't know how, but... Um, yeah, so I guess... Maybe I'll just use the spindle off of this one. I don't know if you guys can hear that. All right, get back up. Trying to take this piece of junk off. All right, you guys, so I was able to break it apart. Um, I did still have to use this. But I don't know what I was thinking with the rubber mallet. I guess I was trying to go easy and not mess up anything. But the ball joint's already a little jacked up. So I had to get my sledgehammer to take it off. As you can see now it's uh, broken loose. Got it off now. Um, the WD-40 did help though. So that's good. So basically I need to compress this enough. To where I could put this little c-clip thing on top so it doesn't slide out but it's a pain in the ass and then putting new cotter pins on everything all right you guys uh last cotter pin here uh putting it on and we should be good to go just to Everything else is tight. And I put like two, three new cotter pins. And uh, I think that was it. Alright. Now I'll take a look at that, you guys. Not looking like before. Look at that. I got my three fingers back. Yep. And here. I'll let you guys see. Let you guys see from far away. That looks way better. Look at that. Straight. Remember before it was kind of tilted in on top and then like forward. 
to the left and that wheel was straight so now we're talking you guys let me check something else while I'm at it the tire looks pretty rough but it's kind of flat um, so that's kind of why and then the quad is on a smaller jack so it's kind of going like this a little bit but I mean it wasn't even spinning before so I'm pretty sure actually now that I look at it that this rim is pretty bent and yeah, just a little bit it might be all right to sell oh well at least it's gonna be running so all right all right you guys uh that's pretty much it on uh, how to change uh, your spindle on a Yamaha Blaster. If you guys like this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, give me that thumbs up and hit the bell for notifications because there is going to be plenty of more videos on these Yamaha Blasters. And I have a big surprise for you guys on the next video. So definitely stay tuned and it's about another Blaster. So... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.